Hi guys, I'm Otto from Tron.com and today we're going to look at the new in-wall receiver for roller shutters. It can also be used for screens and blinds, it's not expensive, it's good, so let's have a look at it in detail. Okay, if we're going to start with it's not expensive, then I think we should also start with the price, which is $44.95 including VAT, and that's in euros. That's a lot less, by the way, than a Somfy version, for example, which can cost around 60 euros approximately. But it can even be cheaper. If you buy five at a time, it will cost you 42.95 each. And if you buy 10 at once, the price is 39.95 each, and that makes a total difference of 200 euros with 10 from Somfy. As for the Somfy model, it has not been available for months. But this one, we do have in stock. Now, what do you use an in-wall receiver for? Well, you build it into the wall behind your in-wall switch, so that you can operate your roller shutter with a remote control. You can continue to use the switch in combination with remote control, but you don't have to. You can also just use the module and leave out the switch. Remote control is handy because you can open and close three roller shutters at the same time with one press of the button, for example. The exact number of modules that you want to control is something you can determine yourself, so you can determine exactly how many you want to connect. This opening and closing of a roller shutter can also be done at times that you set yourself. Then you connect the timer module and everything runs automatically. One disadvantage of the module is that app control is not possible, so you always need a remote control to operate it. The remote control also gives you access to handy functions. By pressing the stop and down button, for example, at the same time, you can automatically move the roller shutter to the ventilation position. The roller shutter will then open to 20%, and you don't even need to program the ventilation position. The module determines it for you. You can also program an intermediate position yourself, for example, half open. This position is reached by pressing the up and down button simultaneously. If you want to use the receiver to remotely control your awning or screens, it's good to know that you can also connect a wind or solar sensor. This ensures that your screen automatically rolls in when there's too much wind or rolls out when there's a lot of sun. This is particularly handy when you're away from home or do not feel like having to adjust things all the time when the weather is unpredictable. Looking at the technical data, you can see how small the receiver is, namely 47 by 18 by 32 millimeters and the weight is just 30 grams. It has an IP20 classification and is therefore dustproof. You can link up to 20 transmitters, so 20 remote controls, of which three can be sensors. I'd say there's more than enough because I can't think of a scenario where you would need so many transmitters and sensors for just one rotor shutter. Prints by any motor can be linked, so it doesn't matter what brand the motor is. The motor can be up to three amps, so your motors at home almost never reach that maximum and you shouldn't expect any problems for any motor that you want to use with it. Speaking of problems, it's also good to know that there's a warranty, which is three years for this module. Now to conclude things, um, the Tom Recess Receiver is a good choice if you want a good product for an attractive price. Also, if you want to use a sensor like a wind or a solar sensor, this is the best choice, as some fee don't offer this option for their RTS module. However, you shouldn't buy it if you ever want app control, as that option is not there. If you want to order the receiver module, you can find a link to the site below the video where you can purchase directly. And as I said before, we have it available from stock. When you buy the module, we'll send you the videos on how to connect and program it automatically so you can have it connected and working in no time. For now, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, send an email to info.com and see you in the next one.